welcome to a new video. I am currently at the airport at LAX and I just made it through security. I had to show a bunch of documents and everything because I'm heading to Capri and it's a restricted country for people with a US passport but if you're going for work reasons they will allow it and I have a letter from Luisa Villaroma and UNICEF saying that I'm going for work so they were able to give me my boarding pass now I'm just trying to find my gate. I'm still really early, so I'm probably going to find a place to sit and grab something to eat. Most of the restaurants are actually closed and all the stores, like if you see behind me, everything is mainly closed and there's only a few restaurants and like little convenient store places that sell food that are open. So I'm gonna just find a place to sit. in this food court area but everywhere is closed except for the Panda Express and fortunately I brought some food I always come prepared and most of the time I don't really eat airport food or airplane food because it's not vegan and ever since I became vegan you kind of have to bring stuff just in case there isn't any vegan options so I brought some oatmeal which probably sounds a little bit strange to be eating at like 1 20 in the afternoon but it's like the easiest thing to prepare i know this is not good for the environment and many of you will probably come at me for this in the comments but please understand that i only do this when i'm traveling and because it's coronavirus time it makes it much easier and it's safer so what i took with me is this oatmeal and these powders that i like to add in this one is from the beauty chef and it's called the glow powder and this is a four sigmatic mushroom cacao mix powder and then I also have this jar of protein powder that I take with me. It's currently 1.55, so I have about 40 minutes before my flight boards. And I thought I would show you guys the documents and paperwork that I'm bringing with me in order to travel to Italy with a U.S. passport. I had to get a corona test done, and that's my name, and I do not have coronavirus. I also have a letter from Luisa Villaroma and UNICEF stating that I'm going for essential travel and work. And this is another document that they gave me when I checked in because I have a layover in Paris. So I have to fill out this form and check off this box that says I'm transiting with less than 24 hours. This is a self-declaration form I had to fill out and this is the Italian version. I filled out the English version. This is another self-declaration form I filled out. I'm not sure both of them are necessary, but I just did both just to be safe. I brought this folder to keep all the papers in since there's so many documents and I want to keep it all organized and not lose any of them. Good morning from Capri. I got in last night, so today's my first full day here. I am actually on my way out to the Luisa Villaroma fitting this morning, and it's 10.12. My fitting is actually at 10, and I'm running a little bit late, but I'm going to just walk over because the hotel that they're having the fitting at is very close by. Everything here is very walkable. Before I go, I wanna show you guys what I am wearing really quickly. This is a t-shirt from the Frankie shop and it has padded shoulders. The shorts are Alexander Wang, a Chanel bag, and the shoes are from the Wandler. So let's go. Just left the fitting and I ended up getting two dresses. One is for tonight's party, which is a little bit more casual. And then another one for the gala tomorrow. And that one is a little bit more formal and fun. So now I'm just walking back to my hotel to get some lunch. And it is so hot out here and the sun is like very, very strong. And I feel like I'm... <laughs> I feel like I'm melting and you have to walk everywhere here just because the streets are all very narrow and everything is super close. 
so it is very walkable but the sun is just very very strong I just changed and now I'm wearing this Chanel top. This is the one that I cropped. So it used to be down to here and I had them cut off like three sections to make it into a little crop top. And this is the matching skirt. The earrings are also from Chanel and they are pearl hoops. And now I'm heading out to meet a friend and we're gonna go explore Capri. So my friend wanted to go check out this beach club that has these cute blue and white striped umbrellas So I just took some pictures in that Chanel look and then changed back into this t-shirt and shorts Because I wasn't gonna wear that to the beach and the hotel said it only takes 15 minutes to get to this place But it's been like 45 minutes and there is so many stairs and my legs feel like they're gonna fall off and we have to walk all the way back up now so hopefully my legs don't fall off because I also have that Luisa Villaroma party tonight and I'm so tired already. back to my hotel and I am so tired my legs feel like jello and it is extremely hot outside I actually took off all my clothes as soon as I got back and now I'm covering myself with this pillow I'm also a little bit sweaty and I never sweat not when I go to soul cycle or berries or work out I used to do soul cycle classes all the time with my friends and when I finish I still look perfectly fine and they're like Jamie did you even do anything and I'm like yeah I do all the things the instructor says but it just doesn't cause me to sweat the only thing that does is actually the sun when the sun rays are very strong that makes me very very hot and causes me to sweat Right now it's 5.11 and my friend went down to go for a little swim and I'm just going to relax here in my room. I have hair and makeup at 6.30 so I have like a little over an hour to chill out here and then I'm going to head over and do my hair and makeup which I really need done after that hike because it's like all melted off and my hair is a mess. So I think I'm going to change into my dress and then head straight over to the hair and makeup and then just go directly from there to the event. I just came back to the hotel to quickly change after they did my hair because the makeup wasn't ready quite yet and my hotel is only a 5 minute walk from theirs. They ended up cutting a little bit of my hair in the front because the bangs were slightly too long and I'm going to quickly show you what I'm wearing and head back over there. So the dress is from Fausto Puglisi. I don't know how to say it. I'm pretty sure the pronunciation is completely wrong, but it's an Italian designer and this dress has so many beautiful crystal details all over it. I paired it with this Rosantica bag and Stefan Webster earrings. The shoes are from Rene Cavalli and please excuse the very messy bathroom. Now I'm going to head back over there and finish my makeup. just woke up and it's already really late because I slept in this morning it's now 12 54 and today is August 29th I didn't get back home until like 2 a.m. last night from the dinner and then I did some emails took a shower so by the time I got into bed it was already 3 and I could sleep in this morning because I didn't have any plans at all for the whole morning, which was nice. So 
So now I'm going to get ready, put on some makeup, get dressed, and I'm heading over to the hotel to meet a friend. And it's the same hotel that Luisa Villaroma has their fittings at, which is perfect because after I meet with my friend, we're just going to take some photos and I have to go meet with the Luisa Villaroma team to go over the looks for tomorrow's cover shoot. So I'm really excited for that. We're kind of going to go over the hair and the makeup, the location and the looks that I'm going to be wearing. And then I'm going to get ready with them for the gala tonight. So that's kind of the plan. Today I am wearing this feathery cult Gaia dress and this is the white color. I have the orange as well. I got the white one later on because I love the orange so much. I think it's just such a nice fun summer dress. And the bag I'm carrying is this little mini neon Valentino and I'm wearing the same pearl Chanel hoops as yesterday. Let me move these flowers to the side so you can see a little bit better. This is the full look. It is another hot and sunny day and my legs are a little bit sore from all the walking I did yesterday. I just got to the Hotel Cuisana to meet with Luisa Villaroma and then I'm gonna catch up with my friend after. So in case you guys are wondering about the mask situation here and why I'm not wearing one, it's that I don't know if they're required because I see some people wear them and some people are not wearing them. It's like probably 60, 40, 70, 30. I do have my mask here, but I just prefer not to wear it when I'm talking to you guys because it makes it a lot more difficult to talk to someone through the camera when you have a mask on and when I'm not around other people I don't think it's super necessary because the coronavirus here is much better than the situation in the United States which is nice but we still do have masks. This is the dress for tonight's gala and it's another Fausto dress but this one is a gown and it has a big slit on the left side. I'm glad it's on the left side and not the right because I have some bruises on my right knee but it's covered so it's all good. And there's also some cutouts, there's one under the bust and across the waist and some cool gold details like these star designs and things like that. I'm holding my earrings in my hand because I'm going to go do my hair now and I don't want to put in my earrings until after. And they're gonna do some makeup touch-ups for shoes. I'm just wearing the same Renee Cavallis as yesterday. And jewelry, I'm just doing some rings and no bracelets. Now I'm gonna head back over to the Hotel Cuisana to have them do my hair and touch up the makeup and I'll go straight from there to the gala. I just got back to the hotel and changed into my robe. I'm going to take off my makeup, wash my face, take out my hair, take a shower, and get ready for bed because tomorrow we are shooting the cover with Luisa Villaroma and I'm super excited. Fortunately, we ended up moving the shoot to the afternoon because it was originally planned for the morning, but then today we decided that no one could probably get up early in the morning to shoot this because everyone's having a super late night. It's like, I think 1.30, close to 2 a.m. and we all wanna sleep in. So we moved it to the afternoon, which is perfect for everyone. And so now I'm going to get ready for bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Sorry, it's actually already the afternoon. It's um, 1.30 almost and I am on my way to the shoot now. Last night I didn't end up sleeping till 4 a.m. because I was doing a bunch of emails since America is still awake and so today I was trying to sleep in but I couldn't. I woke up at like 11 and I couldn't fall back asleep again so I decided to just uh, get up and have some lunch and start getting ready and um, 
Now I'm going to go do my hair and makeup. The outfit this morning is this hotel robe, my travel bag, and APL sneakers. It is a new day and the shoot is a wrap. So we ended up shooting four looks yesterday afternoon and four looks this morning. We were supposed to do all four looks yesterday afternoon, but because we ended up taking a little boat for some of the outfits, and the boat ride took a little longer than expected when we got off the boat it was already kind of dark it was sunset and so we decided to just do the other four this morning instead when there was more light but now we all finished and i didn't vlog anything but we did also have a videographer with us and he shot some footage so maybe there's enough to make a behind the scenes video i don't know um but we'll see what happens so I am now back in my hotel room and I'm gonna pack because I leave tomorrow and the thing with Capri is it's a bit tricky to get back to Naples airport in that first you have someone that comes that takes your bags like separately because there's no cars that can like go up to the hotels so there's like a service that all the hotels have here where this guy comes and takes your bags and brings them to the port uh, and so i am going to walk then you take a taxi to go on to like the hydrofoil then you take your bags from the from the taxi onto the hydrofoil or the ferry whichever you end up taking and then from there you go across to naples then once you get to naples then there's a car that takes you from the little ferry port at naples to naples airport so it's quite a like little journey and my flight's at 12 30 tomorrow and so i have to leave here at 8.39 just to have enough time because of all of the little transfers and things like that that you have to do. Right now it is 3.18 p.m. so I do have a little bit of time so I think I might go do a little bit of shopping or just take a little walk around since I didn't get any time to explore Capri because my schedule was kind of packed and this afternoon I don't have anything planned. So let's go and do a little bit of shopping and walking. It's very windy today and I just went into the Chanel. The store is so tiny. It's probably the smallest Chanel store I've ever been to. The store is like the size of my pinky and uh, there wasn't really anything interesting that I found in there that I hadn't already seen before in the US. So I'm just walking down this street now that has all the shops and this is like a Fendi right here behind me. There's a Dior over here. Everything is really small and compact here because I guess there isn't a bunch of space so it's not like any of the stores in the US. And um, here is the Valentino. You can tell that it's a small little store and there's a Gucci right next to it that's a little bit bigger and we have Montclair and Cuccinelli. Here's the Louis Vuitton and let's go inside. I just left the Louis Vuitton store and like the Chanel it was very small and I, all the stores here are just so tiny and cute but there isn't much merchandise in them at all so there's a Saint Laurent right behind me and then a Versace next to it and look at how small the Saint Laurent is it's so tiny that you can see everything inside the store just from outside walking by it's literally window shopping there's a few pieces of ready to wear some bags on this side and a few sunglasses in the back and the Versace is the same the store is so small you can see everything from just walking past there's a Moschino behind me that's right across the street from the Saint Laurent and Versace but it's like it's I feel like it's not really worth going to because everything is so small 
I'm walking back to my hotel now and that's kind of the shopping in Capri I feel like it's not very good because the stores are just so small so they can't hold much merchandise in them and I just went into Chanel and Louis Vuitton but I don't even really feel like going into any of the other stores because they're just so tiny you can kind of see everything that they have just from walking past it's like a little cell that's what the stores are like which is cute but not good for like actual shopping if you know what I mean so I'm gonna go back to my hotel and I'm gonna start packing and have some dinner so I can sleep early tonight because I've been sleeping so late and tomorrow I have to get up very early for my flight and I want to make sure I get enough sleep I'm flying from Capri to Paris and then I have an 18 hour layover in Paris. And then from Paris, I go back to LA. Now it's getting super windy, so I hope you can still hear me. But I will see you guys later. Today is September 1st and it's 7.37 a.m. right now. I got up at 5.30 to get ready and put on some makeup because I'm flying to Paris today. I have a layover there for 16 hours and then the next day I will fly from Paris to LA. But when I land in Paris, I'm going to be meeting up with a friend. We're going to take some pictures. So I wanted to be ready when I land to not waste any time because I land in Paris around like 3.30 and by the time I get to the hotel, or probably like 4.30 and check in. So I did my hair and makeup, sort of. I mean, it's kind of sloppy, but it's fine. So I did it this morning really quickly, and then I finished my packing, and the hotel just came to collect my bags because they need to take it two hours ahead of the ferry boat ride just to make sure that the people can bring it to the ferry port on time. So they took it this morning at 7, and now I think I'm going to do a little workout because I still have time and i have like an hour and a half before i need to meet at the taxi stand to go to the ferry port and i haven't worked out in like two weeks almost i worked out every day during the quarantine and i usually never work out when i travel because i just don't have the time to and i wanted to work out while i was in la but all the gyms in la are still closed but the hotel just told me that their gym here is open so I figured why not squeeze in a little workout since I still have like a little over an hour and I'm going to end this vlog here because my time in Capri has come to an end unfortunately I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this vlog and what I was doing in Capri and please go follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I will see you in the next video bye